Okay, question 12. Write down the solution of the simultaneous equations. Well, the, the simultaneous equations um, can be drawn on the graph, the two lines, there they are. 3y equals 2x plus 6 and 4x plus 3y equals 24. The solution to the simultaneous equations is the point where the line crosses. So 3 to the right and 4 up is the intersection point, which would also be the solution to the simultaneous equations. x is 3 and y is 4. Part B. Show by shading on the grid the region defined by all five of the inequalities. Now, firstly, we need the lines x equals 0, y equals 0, x plus y equals 4, 3y equals 2x plus 6, 4x plus 3y equals 24. Two of the lines have already been drawn on the graph for us. That one and that one already on the graph. x equals 0 is the y-axis. y equals 0 is the x-axis. And the line x plus y equals 4. Right, x plus y equals something goes through that number on the y-axis as it does on the x-axis. x plus y equals 6 would do the same at 6 and 6. x plus y equals 9 would do the same at 9 and 9. So that line is the diagonal line coming down through, you use your ruler when you do yours, through there. Now, those are the five lines that I need to decide which side of the line it is that I want and don't want. You also need to decide are you going to shade in the regions that you do or don't want. I'm going to shade in the regions that I don't want. Okay. I'm just going to make a note of that written down. That the bits that I shade in are the bits I don't want so that I'll have a nice blank space left as the bit that I do want. So I do want x is bigger than 0 on the y-axis, okay? x is bigger than 0 on the right-hand side, so I am going to cross out the bit that I don't want, which is on the left-hand side. Also, the next second one is y is bigger than 0, is what I do want. So on the x-axis, I want the bit it that is bigger than 0, so I'm going to cross out the bit that I don't want, which is underneath 0. Okay, on the x-axis. Now I want the bit where x plus y is bigger and equal to 4. Hmm, I know it's one side of this green line or the other. I'm not quite sure which side it is, so I'm going to try a point. I'm going to try this point here. That's the point 2, 4. If x was 2 and y is 4, if I add them together, x plus y is 6. Now, 6 is bigger than 4, so that is the side of the line that I do want. 2, 4 is the side of the line that I do want. So I don't want the left-hand side, the underneath side of this green line, so I'm going to cross that one out as well. Where are we? Next one, 3y plus 2x, 3y equals 2x plus 6. That's this diagonal line just up there. Again, I'm just going to try a point. I'm going to try that point there. That's the point 4, 7. 4, 7. If x is 4, you get 8 plus 6 is 14. And 3y would be 21. 21 is not smaller than 14. So this is the side that I do not want. So I'm going to cross out that side of the line. So there goes that side of that line as well now. Okay, so try a point, see if it works in the equation. Is it the side of the line that you want or not? And then finally, the final line is 4x plus 3y needs to be smaller than 24. So this is the line that we where it equals 24. I'm just going to decide whether this point here, this point here is the point 6. 3. So if x is 6 and y was 3, you get 24 plus 9. Is that smaller? No, it's not. So that's the side that I do not want. Okay, it was the point 6, 3. That's the side of the line that I do not want. So again, everywhere to the right-hand side, I'm crossing out the bits that I don't want. 
and I'm left, what I'm left with is this is the region R in there. Alternatively, you can shade in the bits that you do want. It becomes a bit harder in that case because you probably need lots of different colors. Um, but again, do make a note down here of whether it is whether you're shading in what you do want or what you don't want. So label the region R where all those inequalities are satisfied, region R.